Hello everyone and welcome to this new video series where we're going to look at interesting science and space related books and just give them a review and talk about them at a very high level, not to give away too many spoilers. I thought I'd start off with one of my personal favourite books which is The Case for Mars by Dr Robert Zubrin. And this is the first edition print but there is a second edition which is a little bit more updated. Despite the fact that this book is over 20 years old, it still holds a lot of relevance today. It explores Zubrin's plan called Mars Direct to send humans to explore the Red Planet for a relatively small budget of $50 billion. And that might sound like a lot of money, but in terms of the cost of space exploration in general and when you compare it to the cost of the space shuttle and all that other stuff, it's small potatoes. Especially when you consider you're colonising or exploring another planet. And also it has the benefit of staying on Mars for six months at a time. And Zubrin explores his journey to get to that plan, his uh, experience in presenting that to um, political bodies like NASA, how and why that might be rejected in favour of other plans, which then didn't go ahead because, as you know, we haven't explored Mars yet. Um, but this book actually inspired the founder of the Mars Society, which is now a global uh, organization which runs um, desert research and Antarctic research stations looking at looking at um, how a Mars habitat might look, looking at how that might affect human psyche and growing crops, all that kind of stuff. Um, the book in the later chapters goes on to uh, look at um, how you'd colonize Mars further, it goes on to, to explore why the Martian flag is uh, red Mars, blue Mars, green Mars um, and relates that back to, to the terraforming of the red planet um, and all that good stuff. This is one of my favourite books um, about space. It, it's quite an easy read. There are a few places where it goes into a bit more detail or might explore politics a bit more than you might like but it's a very easy read, very interesting read and it, and it does explain things in a way which had you convinced that we could explore Mars if the political motivation was there. I said this is the first edition, if you're going to get this book I recommend getting the second edition. There's not many differences but it's just got a little bit more up to date information. I think that one was written about 12 years ago, something like that, um, maybe a little bit less. Um, but yeah, great book, highly recommend it. The Case for Mars Plan to search the Red Planet and Why We Must by Dr. Robert Zubrin. And it's got forward by Arthur C. Clarke, if that means anything. So, thanks for watching. Um, I will do uh, try and do a few videos on this over the coming months. Um, book reviews, different books. If there's any books you particularly want me to review, throw them in the video description, in the video comments, not description below, um, and I'm sure I'll get to them at some point. Otherwise, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and thanks for watching.